Hi friends, do you want to know how to fix the issue with Call of Duty Cold War crashing and causing your Xbox to shut down? Well, the solution is actually really simple and I've actually experienced this myself and this solution has worked for me and it has worked for everyone else that's gone through the same issue and Activision have also said this is the way to fix the same issue. So the reason is because Activision haven't adopted the smart delivery program that Microsoft have rolled out. What this means is that the Xbox One version of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War doesn't work and can't be played on the Xbox Series X or S. However, for some reason it's still very easy to find and install the Xbox One version, whether it's from a disc or even from the Microsoft Store. You can still download the Xbox One version by mistake and install it on the Xbox Series X or S. And this is exactly what's causing your Xbox Series X or S to crash. And a lot of people don't actually realise they've got the Xbox One version installed. Because, in fact, when you buy the cross-gen bundle, you do get both versions of the game. And with that, it becomes quite easy, even from the Microsoft Store, to accidentally install the Xbox One version. Again, visually they look quite similar. Sometimes you do see that in the title it says Xbox Series X or S version. But once you've fully installed it, it doesn't actually say if it's the full version or not. So the best way to tell is to look at the file size. So check your file size. If it's around 80 gig, that means it's actually the Xbox One version. Whereas as if it's around 130 gigabytes, that means you've got the right version installed, the Xbox Series X or S version. Now, if you have the 80 gigabyte version installed on your Xbox Series X or S, that means that's the wrong version and that's why Call of Duty is crashing and your Xbox is shutting off. So what you need to do is delete this version of Cold War completely off your Xbox. So uninstall it so it's completely off your Xbox. Once you've done that, you then need to go back to the Microsoft Store and download the right version. When you download it, you need to check once it's downloading that it's around 130 gigabytes. It's just slightly more, I believe, than 130 gigabytes. And when you start the download, you'll probably see in the title it does say Xbox Series X or S. If it doesn't, like I said, just double check the file size. If it's the larger file size, then you can be fairly confident it's the right version. It's the next gen version that you need. Once it's installed, you should then be able to just play it normally without any issues. Now, if you have already played a little bit of um, the original Cold War Xbox One version, that's fine. The save data should still already be there. For example, I'd already leveled up the MP5 before I realized what the issue was and I switched it and fixed the issue. And I still had my leveled up MP5. So you don't need to worry about that if you've been playing on the Xbox One version so far. You do need to make sure you do uninstall the Xbox One version first, otherwise this fix won't really work properly. And another tip is to make sure you install the Xbox Series X or S version on the internal hard drive. There are lots of issues where you ex install it on an external hard drive, or even the external expanded storage, I've heard issues. That doesn't make it run efficiently compared to it being installed on the internal drive, particularly for this game. And I think it has something to do with the smart delivery, as I said, where Activision just haven't adopted it, and that's causing a number of issues. But this should fix the issue for 90% of you that are having the same problems as me. I know Activision have said this is the solution for many people. If you've already got the 130GB version installed, it might just be that you didn't install it properly and it's corrupted, or that it's got elements of the Xbox One version, maybe it's tried to install both, and that's caused a clash. So maybe just try and delete the 130 gigabyte version and then reinstall it. That might again fix your issue. If it doesn't, then it's probably a completely different issue to what we're experiencing here. But like I said, 90% of the people out there, this should help you. So good luck. I hope it helps you. I hope you enjoy your new Xbox and I'll catch you later.